Welcome back to another episode with DNA. So this week we're going on a little road trip. Oh, we're just yeah, we're going to head towards I don't know up Durian Bay way somewhere, free camp. Uh, we just want to see how this thing tows. As you can see, we've got the caravan on and we have got some footage which we'll put in when we. Whoop, whoop. <laughs> uh, we'll hit the we'll hit the road and we'll see how it goes. All righty. So in true form today, of course, we had to go to Bunnings, Dave's favourite shop. And what did you buy today to uh, help with the water situation? <laughs> She's getting a beer. True form, go to Bunnings. Jeez, I wish we went to Bunnings as much as we went to Kmart or Spotlight. Oh, whatever. Righto. Righto, what'd you get? I Have a know. sip of your beer. She's driven me to drink, I'm having a beer. Okay. Right. Mick complains about water, the taste of it, and it's not good. And it's not good for the hair. Yeah. So we brought this. Quick, simple. Let's have a look at the box. How much was that? $29 from Bunnings. You can put them in line by the look of it. But I'm just going to use it in line with the hose. So that way it's good for the shower and yeah. drinking, we hope. Hopefully. So, <laughs> um, how am I going to do this? So you can mount it, it's got a little bracket. So you could go to your water coming in and then water going out to your cold tap. If I put it in line on the hose down here, I'll just put it in line and plug it into there. And then, then every every taps thing is um, filtered and then when we fill up the tanks I've somewhere just here pinched this off our bladder clip that on the other end and when we fill the tanks up I can still use the filtered water so I'll give it a go turn it off while I <laughs> try and get this stuff off <laughs> so on here it does have a flow so obviously water in and if we we're going to have it into the van, I'd plug it in there. But I want to fill these tanks up. Did I unlock it? Yeah. <laughs> okay. Go on. It's going. Oh, slows it down a little bit, but. Out of all the caravans we had, never ever been able to fill up this. It's so long, but you can so turn the long. tap so long to fill it up. It oh. bobbles back. Yeah. But this caravan, for some reason, the um, you can just turn it on full, full boil and off she goes. And go running up there and tell everyone what we've done today. Where have we been today? Go. No, go I'm not funny car. when I'm run. How about when you run? No, go I'm on. not Give running. Give me that. No. You'll... Go. So on here, we got our plates back. Woohoo! Um, there was a horrible black piece that come down like this and the number plate sat on that. I wanted to put the number plate up here so it was flat, but because there was two holes that held the plastic bracket on, Madam here got all, what are you gonna do with the holes? Put it there, so I put it there. And guess what? <laughs> now she wants it up here. Oh, well, too bad. So now that if I do that, it's going to have bloody four holes there. Anyway. So that's it. And obviously the back, we're going to have to yes. alter that. I'm going to um, I'm going to put a bracket one. beyond that. This one. Bracket or what? The back one's going to have to alter once we get the canopy on anyway. It's going to be in a different spot, yeah? Well, it won't be on that. Because it ain't going to be here. It'll be a canopy and there'll be a bumper up here somewhere. That's what I just said. And it'll be on that. Oh, whatever. That's what of I just said. Of course you've got to alter That's it. That's what I just said. Of course you've got to alter it. Because so it ain't going to be there. I just want to show you how pretty it looks right now. All right, I'll leave you to that. Okay, good. So, packing. It's do not time. Good morning. 
doing? As you can see, Dave's hooking up and first we're time. headed off for our first time towing in the ram. So we're just going to go for a little, I don't know, two night stay somewhere, not sure where. We're just going to hit the road, get off this driveway. Yeah, for a little bit, see how it goes, but we're going to measure it first. So I'll pull it forward and then I'll get it on a level area and then we'll measure it out, see if we can actually make the, the boat in Tassie. <laughs> <laughs> All right, get the measuring tape out. All right, we've got to do it in three sections. <laughs> three five metre lengths. So this is five metres to here. I'll let go. Is she gonna fit? Are we going on the trip? Oh, I'm gonna measure this. <laughs> that's five meters there, so that's 15 meters. We are... So <laughs> close. We're right on, 15 meters. So I think if we need to, we can probably, we've just been discussing, discussing, uh, we could probably just take this back wheel off the van. I don't think we're going to have to. I don't think we're going to need to. And um, just put that in the back of the ram. So, woohoo, we're still going to Tassie. I'm going to need a, another tow hitch to lift that up because she's a bit nose down. Okay. So as you can pan by, you can see that caravan's a bit nosed down. I just need a... The <laughs> things like that, I just need a shorter one just to lift it up. I don't know, three inches, two inches. Okay. All right, let's get the pig out of the house and... Oh, this will be good. Out For, the back there. First time in the car. So we've, we've popped this back in just to protect the... Um, See, so we'll see her reaction, shall we? Come on. Come on. Come on. You want to go? Come here. She's been anxious since we've been packing. Oh, she just jumped. Sit down, but You're going to sit down. Oh, let's check her out. What do you think? Sit down. The new car. Indy. Good morning. Say good morning. Oi. Say good morning. Oh, how's that feeling in your three seconds of driving? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, but look at this. When you indicate, it um, comes on to show you. Oh, look at that. That's pretty cool, eh? It is. So this week's episode is all about how we're feeling about the car, how it's towing, how it's handling, how Dave's feeling about driving it, uh, what it's doing with its um, fuel consumption, and I'll hand you over to the expert. Ain't no expert. <laughs> <laughs> I'll give you my thoughts. Um, it's We've done about 55k since we've hooked it on. Uh, we're currently sitting on 100 kilometres an hour and the, the instant fuel thing is saying about 15 litres to the 100. Going up some of the hills, we are getting 20, like we're going up a bit of a hill now, we're getting 30 litres to the 100. But coming down the other side, we're 
down to about three or four so sitting on the speed limit I don't think it's going to be a problem and I really think our average fuel consumption for towing will be more oh, under 20 by I reckon we might be around the 17 16 17 litres depending on it's not windy today but I mean if you had a bit of wind it might be a bit different uh, someone else did ask how how we're gonna tow so I have put it in um, tow haul button and I've just left it in drive so doing that it actually um, stops the the gearbox going into overdrive so it'll only use the first five gears um, to my belief and it seems to be going fine I, I, I don't have a problem um, it fuel consumption is pretty good is it feeling heavy oh, yeah, it does feel heavy and I think a bit of that is because we are nose down in the van a little bit um, I've got to get an adjustable tow hitch just so I can lift the tow hitch up a little bit um, but apart from that feeling pretty um, good. I, now I'm driving I, I don't really notice it's on another smart thing is um, when I hooked it on it gives you a an option of towing a conventional trailer a, um, a fifth wheeler or what you're doing it so I, I just put conventional trailer and a, a little light come on if Nick shines it in the dash there you can see up above the top top left then it says um, nine meters and a, a little yellow tow thing when we first started it was six meters but after we turned a few corners, it's, it's actually worked out that our trailer is nine metres long. So it allows, it, it, it's got an adaptive blind spot for you while you're towing. So if I indicate to pull out, it's judging that the um, this that cars behind me, it's, it's allowing for the, the caravan, I suppose is the best way to put it, not just the car. But apart from that, pretty good. Um, yeah, easy, easy as. Cool. I'm thinking we need to wash this dog oh, when God. we get there because, <laughs> yeah, she sleeps in the van with us every night and or oh, does all the old farties, but I tell you what, she's pretty stinky. You she, she gets washed every every week. But oh, geez. Smelly dog in the car, aren't ya? Dog smell. Look at ya. Either that or we've got to get us some deodorant. Yeah, but then if I spray, we get the, uh, the sneezes going on. Anyway, she's happy to be with us and uh, we'll keep carrying on towards Durian and see where we end up. Have a look at that view. All the way around there. Anyway. We just passed a truck, well actually no, a truck passed us with a, an extra trailer on and like this one, well not like this one, but a truck passed us anyway, overtook us. So I'm just, uh, what do you think about that Dave? Like, cause they're saying you don't even feel the suck in or anything with these cars. How did you feel about that? Yeah, it was, before we talk about that, the wind has picked right up. <laughs> it is very swirly. Um, blustery wind and we're still getting pretty good feel we're still under that 20 so that's good that's but the truck did pass us and yeah there's not this the suction you feel when when we were towing with a smaller vehicle because we're a lot more planted on the road we don't feel that vacuum which is really good and we didn't have to put the towing mirrors out at all. No, the the red I can see right down beside the, the caravan. Yeah. Really good. So bonus. Bonus. We're yeah. just talking about putting oh, yeah. a up here Nickel Shire. Um you can get a safe day safety dave camera that'll actually go over that and then because once we get the canopy, obviously we're not going to have a rear view mirror, so we'll need a camera to see out the back. Mm. And then we can, it can come with two channels, and then we'll wire the, the caravan into it as well. So I don't have any sitting on the dash. Yeah. So that'll be good. 
Yeah. Mm, yeah. Mm. Sound like baby crocodile. Mm, mm, mm. Okie dokie. So we're just pulling into a free camp called Chewitt's Reserve, just off Cervantes Road. So we popped it in there. Absolutely. Hopefully it's good. Dave said on the uh, reviews, if you don't get here early, you won't get a spot. So it's just gone lunchtime and we will just check it out. Fingers crossed. Now, it's just here. Hopefully it's not too shaded. <laughs> just off the road. You have arrived. Thanks, lady. Indy, lay down. Oh, it's packed. There's no one here. I don't know how. Hmm. Jeez, it's not that big. Oh, that's probably why they're saying you don't get here early. All right, we're going to try and back her in here with uh, my directing skills. So Dave's allergic to bees and there's a few bees around. Well, so I, I, I get an aller bleh, allergic reaction. reaction. I, if I get bitten, I'll really swell up. But in, So we just they said vicinity. to put some water out just to see if that attracts and so we're going to try that. Anyway, let's get set up. Yep. Alrighty, I'm all set up. Coffee machine's up. My thousand pillows are in place. Oh, look. <laughs> There's another bloody pillow. Anyway, just making some lunch. We had results of tea last night. So we just, um, Dave did a few extras. So we're having them in a wrap for lunch. And we're going to use the picnic table outside instead of dragging all our tables and chairs out. Because we haven't unhooked the car. We're just going to probably do the one night and move on tomorrow. And later on, I'll be cooking my fabulous pumpkin scones. See how that goes. The first lot of scones were like, Hockey pucks, I tell you. The second lot were <laughs> not bad. So now she thinks she knows how to do, so now she's gone straight to a pumpkin one. So we'll see. It'll be fabulous. <laughs> <laughs> and on the other note, we just put out the solar panel too. We are fully charged. We're going to turn the Starlink on in a minute and see if we can get, because there's no phone signal here. So just see if we can pick that up. But... While the sun's out, I'll use that to power the Starlink. Hey, just saying too, we've just got onto these um, tomato relish and onion relish. The onion one's really good when you've got sausages, so if you don't want to cut up sausages and cook them up, and your corn relish one. So we thought we'd give them a go. They're cheap as chips. Well, I think they're a bit, about $2.50 $2 something thing. At Woolies. Yeah, and they're really, they're quite tasty. Yeah, so... Yeah, she's eaten one already. <laughs> Not just me. <laughs> Are you sure? Yeah. Wrap mine. Well, I've left Dave to wrap his. Because oh. he wraps his slightly different to me. Just like most things we do. You know do. why? Because there's more in hers than you want me to see it. Oh, bullshit. Anyway, lucky we got here early. Because look, there's two people that just no, rolled in. three, four. Wow. So and we got prime spot. Got one, two, three. So we're going to have lunch. Right. Lunch is done. Got the solar panels up and Indy's enjoying the sunshine. Still a little windy. She's all settled and happy. Yeah. Okay. Camp's just over there. And this is why there's some bees this around. This is why there's a heap of bees. I'll see how close I can get.
Oh, that's massive. Take a photo. Oh, you're going to take the photo. No. I'm the one allergic to them. Right, one of two things going to be successful or we're going to be up for a new drone. Because uh, look at all the trees. <laughs> Which now, it's been that long since I've done it. It is pretty windy. Okay, it's bush scones, pumpkin scones today. So, self raising flour. And a can of pumpkin soup. Apparently, that's it. So we'll see. So I'm going to do one can of the pumpkin soup and two cups of self-raising flour. And mix with a knife. That's it. Don't actually like knead it or anything. And then cut, plonk in, in the ziggy it goes. What could go wrong? <laughs> Everything. <laughs> <laughs> two cups. Self raising going in. And mix with a knife. We'll come back in an hour when she's finished mixing. So we did equal parts. This will give you bat wing arms a workout. Um, I'm thinking if it's too wet, add a little bit more, depending on obviously what size soup can you have but we think this is probably a little bit wet so I'm just gonna add a little bit more and see how we go right I got Dave onto it because the tuck shop lady arms are tired and I reckon we've added about three and a half cups now it's quite a lot of fluid you added to it but I mean it still needs a little bit more yeah look at it Maybe four cups. <laughs> Trial and error here. This is supposed to be Nick's show. Now, now I'm doing it. That's because you took over. Because your arms were tight. That's looking better. I dare say it's going to be more like damper and not fluffy. Like me. Fluffy. Or is that chunky? Cuddly. Whatever it is. What is it, babe? No comment. Grumpy. You'll get slapped. <laughs> All right, so I've taken it out. I've floured the area, which was nice and clean. And flour your hands. And I'm thinking this time, I'm just going to leave it in a big blob and just cut the sections. Last time I did four, but this is... A lot bigger mixture, so I'm just gonna. Oh, that wasn't very even, was it, Nicole? All right, Ziggy's up to temp, we hope, and in she goes. Don't burn yourself. On a trivet, of course. Quickly before you let the lady down. Might need it. Ha, ha, ha. <laughs> I was leaning down to put the bloody flour away and this fell off the bench. Fell off the bench or you knocked it off the bench? Not even. Oh no, it wouldn't be you, would it? Never! <laughs> now you got a mess to clean up. Lucky we're in the bush. This is why I baked it outside. Because <laughs> yeah. last time it was a hell of a mess in the van. There's a hell of a mess outside. <laughs> Don't show them. <laughs> I I don't claim so <laughs> it's up to her. All right. I think it took probably about 30 minutes. Moment of truth, is it black on the bottom? 
Hang on. Oh, it doesn't look like it by that paper. I'm going to shut that. It's a bit windy. Oh, look at that, didn't burn at all. Oh, she's still warm. Oh, it feels pretty hard, might break your teeth. Mmm. Well, it's kind of like a damper, I'd say. But anyway. That seems all right. Haven't tasted it yet, but afternoon tea looks pretty good in the bush. <laughs> I'm going to let mine cool down before I put the butter on it. Cheers. I'm dropping everything today. I'm doing my butter. Going like this. And it flicks straight out. It's straight on the ground. <laughs> Hopeless. It's one way to be on a diet, isn't it? Just throw it on the ground. <laughs> Dog lead it. Come on, Andy. Come and eat this. Yeah. Yeah, it was just more of a um, first time towing where we are. I think we showed you around where we are. There's a beehive and that over there. Very quiet. Jewett's Reserve. Yeah. Just up the road from... From Cervantes. Yeah. So, good spot. We'll have yeah. the night here. Quiet night. Nick's made of scones. So, no roast now. We're just going to no. have scones. <laughs> <laughs> There's that much of it now. Well, that'll do. We'll have that in a bit of... So... Nick wants bacon and that on hers. I'm just going to have mine as plain. Mm. Great car, loving it at this stage. No issues, no dramas, no. comfy as. Tow is really easy and the fuel economy is so much better um, than what we've had with either the Patrol or both Land Cruisers we've had, so. Winning. It's actually better on fuel than our, and that's the BT50 we had as well. Yeah. So, yeah, no, that's good. Okay. All right, no worries. Like and subscribe, see you next week. Bye. Bye.